The seven strangest Playboy Playmate deaths of all time. In the history of Playboy, there are many hot playmates form the muse for this famous nude magazine to take on the sudden and painful death, from young beauties like Dorothy Stratton just taking off in their career to long acclaimed legends like Marilyn Monroe to retired playmate veterans like Yvette Vicker. Here are the seven strangest playmate deaths to have ever occurred in Playboy Bunny history. Dorothy Stratton in what is easily a horrible, horrible way to go, Dorothy Stroutman gets a high spot on this list because she really just ended up with the wrong guy. She was only 17 when she sent in nude photos to Playboy magazine with the help of a club promoter and pimp Paul Snyder. They quickly fell into a romance, much to Stroutman's mother's disapproval. After finding success in television and filming her first major film titled They All Laughed, Stratton began an affair with the movie's director, Peter Bogdanovich. By then, several people, including Hugh Hefner himself, were warning Stratton about her relationship with Snyder, saying that he was a hustler and a pimp. Snyder hired a private investigator to follow her. On August 14, 1980, when the two arranged to meet at Snyder's house to talk about divorce, decided to take it into his hands that no one was ever going to follow her anymore. He shot Stratton in the face, tied her lifeless body to a love contraption, had sex with her dead body for a half hour or so, and then blew out his own brains. Stratton was only 20, and two movies were later made about her tragic life and death. The girl really did deserve more. Yvette Vickers Yvette Vickers who you might know from such cult classics as Attack of the Giant Leeches, Sunset Boulevard, and Attack of the 50 Foot. She was discovered on May 2, 2011 by a friend in a mummified state inside her Benedict Canyon home. Of course, her organs were not removed and preserved in jars like King Tut and others, but her remains were unrecognizable, having been left undiscovered for what reportedly could have been almost a year. Susan Savage said she went to check on Vickers after she noticed the 82-year-old's mailbox gathering old letters and cobwebs. After entering her home, Savage made her way upstairs to a room that had a small space heater on, and found Vickers' body, dry and shriveled up, on the floor along with a cordless phone, which appeared to have fallen off its cradle. Jasmine Fiori This is yet another reason not to watch reality shows, because, frankly, reality, you know the one that's actually real, gets in the way. Ryan Jenkins was a contestant on the VH1 reality shows I Love Money and Megan Wants a Millionaire, as well as a suspect for the murder of Jasmine Fiore, a Playboy model and his ex-wife. That's right, VH1 was actually touting Jenkins as an eligible bachelor when in fact he was a psycho killer, and by psycho, I mean, cut off your fingers and pull your teeth out psycho, Megan really lucked out. Jasmine, on the other hand, not so much, Megan really lucked out. Jasmine, on the other hand, not so much, Megan really lucked out. Jasmine, on the other hand, not so much, so, like most of the time in life, the fake boobs saved the day and an investigation began with Jenkins being a person of interest. A few days after the police formally charged Jenkins with murder on August 20, 2009, Jenkins hung himself in a motel room. Jane Mansfield Jane Mansfield was honored as Playboy Playmate of the Month and appeared nude in the magazine many times throughout her career. On June 28, 1967, when she along with her boyfriend Sam Brody, driver, and children crashed into a tractor trailer that abruptly slowed down on the road, not only did their car hit the tractor trailer, it also went under it, resulting in complete removal of the automobile's top as well as killing all adults riding up front. There appeared to be a blonde-haired head tangled in the car's windshield, which was believed to be Mansfield's, but her death certification only read crushed skull with avulsion of cranium and brain. Star Snow Ellen Louise Star Snow who lived the good, celebrity life as playmate of the month and then the hard, gritty life as a street prostitute afterwards, once her minutes in the limelight were over. However, Starr began to work as a prostitute and fell into drugs and alcohol abuse. On March 16, 1997, just days before her 41st birthday, Starr was found partially clothed, strangled, 
and dumped in some bushes. Investigators believe that she was victim of a serial killer, as another prostitute's body was found in the same manner three weeks prior. Sandra K. Walters, the other victim, also had a history of drugs and had similar physical features to that of Star. There were, however, no solid leads to the death and thus, Star's story is another mystery yet to be solved. Anna Nicole Smith The media swarm over former Playboy playmate Anna Nicole Smith's death was unforgettable, but that was because Anna Nicole Smith, both for her life and mysterious death, was unforgettable. She was found unresponsive in her room at the Manol Hard Rock Hotel and Casino after an accidental overdose of at least nine prescription drugs. Anna Nicole Smith lived a life full of controversy and died having it carry her off as well. The cause of her death was known, but the reason will always remain a mystery. Marilyn Monroe Marilyn Monroe is known as one of the most beautiful women in history. On August 5, 1962, Marilyn Monroe was found dead in her bedroom at her Brentwood home. Some, like Dr. Thomas Noguchi of the Los Angeles County Coroner's Office, believed it was caused by a drug overdose and others, like Los Angeles Police Department Officer Jack Clemens, believed it to be a murder. The actress and model was naked and lying face down on her bed at the scene with her left hand reaching across for the telephone on the nightstand. Though there were prescription bottles everywhere, there was actually no water in the room or bathroom, as well as no evidence of partially or undissolved capsules in her body. Today, Marilyn Monroe's death remains a mystery and conspiracy theories float around like it was yesterday. Let's show us your feeling about this video and don't forget to subscribe, thanks for your watching.